hi and hello everyone welcome to my channel so this is the video is belongs to diode solved example problems for competitive exam aspirants so in this video i am going to discuss some important problems from zener diode so everyone knows about uh, everyone knows about zener diode problems so how it is going to work the what are the important things just a minute and this window i want to open again because of some issue now it is working so today in this video we are going to discuss zener diode based problem so okay so already everyone knows what is in best zener diode compare with a normal normal pn junction diodes just i i want to go through this one just i want to small review about zener diode and also normal diode so if it is a normal diode everyone knows it has two terminal as it is anode and cathode and also the diode current id will flow from one direction anode to cathode so there is no reverse direction current so reverse direction current is zero so that everyone knows so here in zener diode in zener diode what we are going to do so this is the symbol of zener diode like z z that is called as a zener diode symbol the current flow is belongs to forward direction so the same thing anode and cathode two terminal and also one important thing it is a specially doped diode that is called the special type of diodes so it is also while doping process they consider as a special doping heavily doped diode okay for different kind of uh, special application so that's why the current also flow from reverse direction the current also flow from the reverse direction this is very important for zener diode that's why the zener diode operates in a reverse bias junction and, and and one more important things from the zener diode the application of zener diode is that is the reason it's working as a voltage regulator so voltage voltage regulator so these are the important things about zener diode so a lot of information are there so that we are going to discuss the theoretical portion we will discuss in a separate video now in this video we are going to concentrate so i am going to concentrate only on some solved problems how to solve some examples problem example solved solution for very important competitive examination like gate and uh, rrb railway recruitment board and a uh, graduate aptitude test and any all on and also trb competition level examination okay now i am going to take on small examples so how the current flow is going to happen and what are the important condition we need to find we need to use for zero diode okay so this is a potential potential difference and also one control resistance and one zener diode and going to connect in this small closer circuits so here i am going to give five voltage of given input voltage the resistance value of internal zener diode is 1 kilo ohms and uh, the potential difference between uh, zener diode is 12 volt so what we are going to do now what is the current value of this above blanc circuit that is very important things okay the current value is belongs to i equal to 0 why the i is going to 0 because the voltage across the diode is 12 voltage why means the current here the current will flow the current will flow but the condition is whatever we are going to give input that is greater than our diode voltage because here pi voltage only available that is the reason the diode across the resistor and diode <coughs> current is belongs to zero okay so for that reason so i am going to do some another examples so like the same thing okay here yeah, the same circuits i just i want to i want to change the just i want to change the 
potential value okay the same thing one kilo ohms i am going to give the same 12 volt available here and then here i am going to change 14 voltage now 14 voltage now what is the current rate so as per the according to the uh, ohms law and the current law equation so on here the current will go flow ac across this area so here so how much voltage will flow here and here that we are going to solve and also what is the current rating of the above the mentioned circuit now here already i told you the voltage regulator the application here there is no here the off off of voltage regulation that means not possible to do voltage regulator because there is no current value here the circuit is act as voltage regulator the circuit is act as voltage regulator and also i am going to calculate the current value and also how much voltage drop across this so already we know we came to know here the potency difference is 14 voltage compared with the zener diode is 12 voltage only so it is almost greater than of the zener diode potential voltage so the current possible to flow okay the current possible to flow so 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 that reason so so for that reason the current the particular diode is act as a voltage regulator okay voltage regulator so now easy to find the current value the current value the formula is belongs to v equal to sorry just a minute the current i equal to current i equal to i equal that means i into r equal to v so we can use this formula easy to find this current value okay so for automatically for examples for examples here for example here 2 volt across here voltage will come in sir so remaining 2 voltage will flow across this resistor 1 kilo ohm resistor so automatically we are easy to find okay so v equal to b equal to i into r so what is the value of i so we are going to calculate only i so automatically v equal to so here so how much voltage is there i into r so how much voltage is there and how much current is there automatically we are going to date that current value so here what we are going to do i equal to so how much v into i r so finally i equal to v by r so how much voltage we are going to substitute here so automatically here the resistance value is the resistance value is how much the resistance value is clearly clearly the resistance value is mentioned as one kilo ohms substitute here and the voltage value is two kilo two voltage substitute here we are going to get current value in the milliamps okay so current value in the milliamps so automatically it is very easy okay so like this we, we are possible to get value and also easy to get here also how much voltage is there here v into i and r so easy to get across this voltage how much for examples for examples here i am going to take 1 kilo ohms and also 38 voltage 38 amps so here you can check the 2 voltage and also 1 kilo ohms like 0 0.02 milliamps so i equal to 0 0.02 milliamps so 0 0.02 milliamps multiplied with 1 kilo ohms so automatically v equal to 2 voltage here so across this 2 voltage means we are passing through main source 14 voltage so from 2 voltage remaining will come to here 12 voltage that's all okay so this is the reason the given the particular uh, zener diode circuit is act as a voltage regulator so we will go for another examples the same thing you can use now you can use now here see here so this is the one voltage source the given input resistance with the help of one zener diode and uh, the zener diode act as a 12 volt here one kilo ohms the circuit input is 15 voltage so automatically 
it it will not act as voltage regulator it will not act as voltage regulator because they are not possible not possible because high equal to zero compared with the zener voltage is very 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 much greater than so here so supply voltage is very much greater than to the zener voltage so across the diode diode zener voltage so the trace and here the diode current is that means here this area almost 38 voltage will flow more voltage will flow here and then this area almost 12 voltage will flow so automatically compare with compare this two value you can find uh, i equal to zero only because as per the uh, voltage regulation the regulatory principle the, the the value of a diode voltage is, should be greater than input voltage source so 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 that is a reason here the circuit is like as a open circuit so the current belongs to zero voltage now i am going to explain another suitable examples for zener diode the same thing i am going to take one one circuits 50 volt zener diode 50 volt input circuits and also i am going to give one resistor circuit and also one zener diode finally i will connect one more zener diode and then i am going to close this circuit okay now this resistor value is 1 kilo ohms here 12 voltage resistor 12 voltage voltage drop here 12 voltage voltage drop so now what is the value of the current so the current value is available so it is act as a voltage regulator the current value is available so it is act as a voltage regulator act as a voltage regulator how we are going to calculate the current value i equal to v into r so what is the value of the voltage across this the total voltage is belongs to 24 voltage yes or no so 24 voltage add these two voltage in series 12 voltage 12 voltage 24 voltage so remaining this voltage is belongs to 36 voltage 24 36 40, uh, 26 sorry 26 voltage so here we are going to substitute 26 into 1 kilo ohms finally i equal to 26 milli amps finally i equal to 26 milli amps so it is easy to find this value okay now what we are going to do now we have v in and also voltage source now what is the diode current now we find this 26 milliamps no problem what is that this value of the diode current means this value how much current will flow so see here now i am going to calculate that value like i is at voltage difference maximum level and diode voltage is 24 voltage and then 20 50 voltage over by thousand so finally after solve these steps we are going to get 0 0.26 0 0.26 amperes that means finally you can take milliampere milliamps okay milliamps so this is the output of the particular zener diode circuits okay very important things so now i am going to use one small examples another examples of zener diode circuit in variable voltage source okay so this also very very important the given circuit is i will write determine determine the range the question is very very important we need to analyze the question first after that we will try to solve our given problem okay range of range of input voltage bi that will maintain zero diode that will maintain in zero maintain in zero in on state in on state okay now i am going to solve one problem based on the given circuits determine the range of input voltage so they are given one input voltage source we need to identify that this is only unknown data we need to identify that particular range of input voltage see here this is the given circuits a resistor is given 
and one zeno diode is given so the, here this is called as rl but also given 1.2 kilo ohms this is given like iz so this is call it as vz so iz and vz also given iz and vz also given then vz equal to 20 voltage and the power this is uh, like pz maximum and then how much resistance of this r equal to 220 ohms and also i z also given so this is the input voltage v i so we are going to solve this v i the given data is what are the given r equal to 220 ohms r l equal to 1.2 kilo ohms and v z equal to 20 voltage and also i z maximum is given 60 milliamps 60 milliamps 60 milliamps so now i am going to use v z maximum and minimum formula for this kind of problem we need, we have to know the formula okay so important formulas for uh, about this kind of the problem important formulas are v z we need to find v z equal to like sorry v z not v i minimum V i minimum, V i maximum formula we need to know. So V i minimum means V z equal to R plus R l over R l. So this is the one formula. Another formula is V i maximum. V i maximum equal to V r max. V r max plus v z and i r max into r plus v z sorry 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 so here v r max plus v z v i max equal to v r max plus v z okay so here there are two formula enough for solving this okay we are max plus v z v i minimum equal to r plus r plus r l plus r plus r l plus r l here r l okay there are r is given r l is given v z given we are easy to find v i minimum okay now i am going to use v i minimum how to solve this v i minimum so v a minimum as per the formula v z equal to r plus r l over r l it is equal to 20 and 220 plus 1.2 kilo ohms over by same thing or 1.2 kilo ohm so finally we again we need to reduce this one to 1420 over by 1220 it is also equivalent to 71.3 finally v i minimum equal to 23.67 voltage so this is called it this what we received from the given data so next we are going to solve v i max so v i max little bit tough only but there is we know that formula means we knew that formula means automatically by very easy so by applying the kitchen voltage law and the current law we are easy to get this value okay so va max means just we are going to solve that across the vr and the vz value so by applying the kvl vr max by vz so by applying the kvl by applying the kvl we are going to get another equation that is called ir max into r plus 
this is that hey, we have to take this is for equation number one this is for equation number one i int r into v is that based on the given circuits i int r i into r into v is that like like v i max so the circuit is belongs to like this will come no so i into r into v is that i r max equal to i into r into v is that so here r value is there here i z is there here v z is there like this okay according to the ohm's law according to the kitch of voltage law so now again based on the kitch of current law which of current law we came to know ir value so if we don't know about the value of ir ir equal to this is called resistance so ir so ir equal to iz by il so here the one more current will flow that current is called il so the, this current is going for this ir ir equal to iz plus il according to the kitch of current law I Z plus I L I R equal to. Now I am going to solve this value with I R max. So I R max equal to I Z max plus I L value. So I Z max if in I L this I L is fixed one. This I L is fixed one. That means I L is fixed means V two is fixed R L is fixed. Okay, so that's why I L is fixed one. I L is fixed means see that I L equal to V by R. That means V L by R L. So V L by R L. So here V fixed R fixed. That's why I L equal to fixed one. Okay, so now I Z max. Now what is the value of I Z max? What is the value of I Z max? So I Z max already given. 60 milliamps. So this already given. So this I Z max already given. See that I Z max is 60 milliamps already given. So based on that, based on that, just I am going to substitute this value. I R max equal to I Z max. Sorry, I am going to substitute this one. 60 milliamps plus plus VL by RL. VL by RL. VL is how much? VL by RL. That means VL is equal to VZ. So equal to 20 voltage. So VL by RL. 20 voltage. So see this formula we are going to use. Okay. 20 voltage over by 1.2 kilo ohms. Finally, IR max equal to I R max equal to after solving these two steps, we are going to take seventy six point six seven milliamps. So we got maximum value. Now we are going to take minimum value. We got maximum value. Now we are going to take minimum value. Okay. So this is the maximum value. This is the maximum value. I R max equal to seventy six point five one amps. So already I mentioned here equation I R max I R max into V Z. So here I am going to apply this I R max value R equal to and the V Z value. We are going to get I R minimum. That means I R max from equation one. I am going to take V I max. Okay, V I max is is equation is belongs to V Z. R plus V I max. See that V R max into V Z. So V R max is belongs to I R max into R into V Z. So I am going to use this equation number one from equation one from equation one from equation one from equation one. What is the equation one from equation one? So in the equation one is. I R max multiplied with R plus V Z. What is the I R max? Already we calculated I R max is. So I already we know that I R max equal to seventy six point six seven voltage over by R equal to resistance of circuit two twenty ohms plus V Z equal to already given twenty voltage. After solve this equation, we are going to take. 
वी आई मैक्स वी आई मैक्स इक्वल टे वी आई मैक्स इक्वल टे एडिंग दिस वैल्यू ट्वेंटी वोल्टेज एंड सेवेंटी सिक्स सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट सेवन वो मल्टीप्लाइड विथ दिस टू वन मल्टीप्लाइड दिस टू ट्वेंटी वोम्स सो फाइनली सेवेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट वन टू ट्वेंटी वोम्स मल्टीप्लाइड फाइनली वील गेट सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट सिक्स टू ट्वेंटी वोम्स सो टू ट्वेंटी वो टू ट्वेंटी सारी 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 सिंपल सुमाल मिस्टेक सो फाइनली वी आर गोइंग टू टेक आफ्टर सॉल्व दिस वन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट एट सिक्स सेवन वोल्टेज प्लस टू टू प्लस ट्वेंटी वोल्ट वी इज एट सो वी आई मैक्स इक्वल टू टोटली थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट एट वोल्टेज सो ऑलरेडी वी गॉट वी आई मिनिमम and the vx maximum so a range between the input voltage this is answer a range between va is 23.67 voltage to 36.867 voltage so as per the given input circuits so as per the given input circuit here 26. Point, sorry 23.67 voltage to 36.87 voltage this is the answer okay i hope everyone got this concept thank you once again we will meet in another video from diode solved problems okay thank you friends thank you dear students we will meet in another video thank you thank you once again thank